What is up mamas? I'm Rebecca and you're watching the Reseller Mom Show. Thank you so much for joining me today for another What Sold video, What Sold Fast on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. This is for the week of April 28th through May 4th and as you can tell, I'm in a different spot. I'm literally sitting in my closet. It's 6.30 a.m. Some people are up in the house, some people aren't, and this is what I can do, so bear with me. I've got a lot of great sales for you today, lots of cool updates, and I'm so excited to share it with you. So let's dive right in and not waste any time. First of all, I have, I think it was 11 or 12 sales that came in in the last, that sold in two weeks or less this last week. I, I haven't figured out a good way to say that. So first up is an item that sold on eBay. It's a new with tags, a Zella athletic top, size 3X sold for $10.40. Now this was an item that I'm 99.9% .9 sure came in a fashion maids box, which I've done some unboxings. So if you haven't checked out those videos, you should. This is not a great return on my investment for this item, um, but the item itself, I think retailed only for less than $20 to begin with. So getting $10.40 for it is great. Um, but the amount I paid for, which I think is on average about $6 and something cents per item, is not a great return. S considering the fact that I do pay a lister and I do pay a photographer. So it's sold, it's out of here, I'm happy about that. It's sold in less than two weeks, which is great, but I'm really starting to keep an eye on the items that came in from Fashion Maids because we really wanna make sure that this is something that is helpful as a good online sourcing option. Up, and that sold in 10 days, I'm sorry. Up next is a new with tags, Lauren Ralph Lauren, um, you know, sleeveless bodycon dress. It sold for a best offer of $26 on eBay. Can't remember if this had free shipping or not because I don't remember if it's first class or if it was a padded flat rate. I charge for padded flat rate at the moment. First class is free for me on eBay for shipping. That sold in 10 days as well. I got this at a garage sale for $2. Up next is a Mercari sale. I don't know how to say this name of the bra, Waco, Waco, whatever. And it's an underwire 42D bra. Got that at the bins. Sold it for $15 with free shipping on Mercari in seven days. This, if you remember from one of my hauls, was a fantastic find. I found it at the Goodwill Outlet or the Goodwill Bins. First, I found the skirt and I was so excited. Then I ended up, and you can only see the skirt here in the picture, but then I ended up going through the entire bin saying, it's worth it, I know it's here, <laughs> and I found the top. So it was a complete set, a Luxletic from Lily Pulitzer, um, you know, performance athletic wear, super cute, really pretty. And I did have it up for, I think $89 or $99. I got the offer for $55 and I took it. It sold in six days and I was like, you know what? It's an extra small and yes, it's Lily Pulitzer, but I have had some things sit from Lily Pulitzer, especially in the smaller sizes. So you just never know. And I thought for getting it at the bins, $55 is a great price and I took it. So I was excited for that and didn't want to give up that sale. That sold on eBay, as I said, in six days. Next up is this Swiss Gear crossbody sling bag kind of mini backpack. And I actually picked this up thinking that maybe my husband might want it, um, but it turns out he didn't want it. So then I said, okay, I'll just sell it. And I got it at the bins. So it was 12 ounces, so less than a pound at the Goodwill bins. I pay $1.39 per pound. And so, you know, it cost me a dollar. And, um, I sold it for 15 and I sold it in five days. So that was fine with me. This is no surprise, Lululemon Athletica um, tracker shorts, and I don't know why my lister put booty in there, but anywho, um, those sold really quickly. Those sold in one day. Yeah. So I actually have one more in here that I included on my account, but for some reason the link didn't pull up, and that was one of my bulk items um, from my Macy's liquidation lot, and that was a Style & Co. button-down collared shirt, and that sold in three days. So. Sorry, that's not showing right now, but the Lululemon um, shorts sold on eBay in three days that, uh, sorry, in one day that did have free shipping on it. I took a best offer of $25. There was a small mark um, 
on the side so you know I was okay with letting it go for a little bit less than I would have liked if it was in pristine condition. Next up, again, I'm 99% sure that this came from a Fashion Maids box. I hope in the future to figure out a way, maybe like, um, shout out to Empty Hanger that does like a code at the bottom of her listings for where she got things. I just haven't had time to kind of think it through and set one up. But I think for doing these What Sold videos and for my own knowledge, it would be helpful to start really tracking since I do have different sources of getting inventory. Um, and for evaluating those sources, knowing where the item came from would be helpful. And so, like I said, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this came from a Fashion Maids box. It was brand new with tags, Nike Pro Trainer leggings, kind of like a snakeskin type print. They retailed for $75. I, sold, I think I had them up for $39 or $49, and they sold on an offer for $25 on Poshmark, and those sold... Uh, same day. So here we're getting into same day sale. So all of these sold the same day they were listed, which is awesome. This is probably the most I've ever had um, in this kind of time frame. So I'm super excited for really quick turns. So same day it was listed, sold for 25 bucks on Poshmark. Next up is a free people, just kind of palazzo pants. I wasn't quite sure about these. I found them at the bins. I've never had really good luck with free people. Like, I feel like everything I buy free people, it never sells. So I was like, okay, I'll try it again. Got it at the bins, but they did sell in one day. So I don't know if it was just good keywording on this or if it was just, they were really, I mean, I don't know, like that's not my style. So I don't know what did it, but I'll take the magic. They sold for $19 um, with free shipping and they're super light. They're like a really lightweight kind of gauzy material. So $19 was fine with me, whether that's good or that's bad, I don't know, don't judge me. Like I was just happy to sell it in a day. Pretty much if there's something that I get an offer on same day, unless it's a majorly high-end thing that I'm gonna get a lot of money for, I'm gonna sell it the same day like if I can quickly turn around my money the same day I'm gonna do it so as long as it's a reasonable offer I'm taking it um, so that was free people Palazzo pants sold on eBay in the same day next up was a Mercari sale and I get a lot of same day Mercari sales because some of the items have been listed previously for a while on eBay and Poshmark and haven't sold and then when they get cross posted to Mercari they sell in the same day um, because it's new to Mercari. So some of them happen that way. This one and actually the next three are not that situation. These are brand new items to all platforms but they just happen to sell the same day on Mercari. So this is Talbot's, the Chatham Trouser, um, and they sold on a best offer for $20. This did have free shipping, but again, I only had them up for $24, and I was fine to make a little less profit, but to move them quickly. So those sold same day on Mercari. Next up is a Victoria's Secret baseball cap. Sold same day, super quick and easy and light to ship. I sold it for $15 with free shipping on Mercari in the same day. That was a great sale. Next up were these Levi's denim vintage jean shorts. Those sold same day for full price for $29 with free shipping on Mercari in the same day. Love it. Um, next one, I found these at the bins. I found the case in like the shoe and purse area and I said, well, let me pick up the case. Maybe somebody would just want the case or maybe I want the case for my glasses or whatever. And this case had like markings on it. And then I opened it up and the damn sunglasses were in there. So I thought that was awesome. So it had, you know, the little cloth that goes with it, the Kate Spade sunglasses, which do have a small mark on one of the sides. And then the case had a small mark. So I couldn't put them up for a lot of money. I did kind of check out the comps. And I think I had them up for like $39. And then this girl, like I literally listed them early in the morning. And within 20 minutes, she made an offer. And I actually had a few likes on them right away. So I was like, you know what? I just want to like move it and move it fast. I went back and forth with this girl on a couple counters and we ended up at 23. And I was, I was going to let them sit a little bit longer and just see what I can get for them because I don't get a lot of Kate Spade things. But I thought, you know what? Again, in the effort of just keeping the cash flow moving, maybe she was my buyer. Maybe she was going to be the only buyer. So you just don't know and you just can't be greedy over a few dollars is you know, kind of what I feel these days. So those sold same day, like within less than an hour on Poshmark for $23 on an offer Kate Spade sunglasses. 
Now I'll go over my numbers and then I'll share with you two additional things that sold that were great. So wrapping it up for the week of April 28th to May 4th, I sold 24 items on Poshmark for a total of $418, down a bit both in sales and in number of items sold. My mom's in town. I've got a couple other things still going on with the clearance. Lots of stuff keeping me busy and listings have been down as far as the number of listings going up. So I can't expect too much. Um, eBay, 38 items sold for a total of $680 in sales. I think that's not too bad. That's pretty on par. Could be better. Um, Mercari, I sold four items for a total of $79. So a little down from what it has been. Um, I'd like to get that you know, back up into the $200 range if I can to start with. So a total of 66 items sold for $1,177 in sales for an average sale price of $1,783, which is just fine with me. Again, sales overall have been down this week, but um, I still feel good about the direction that I'm going in right now. Um, and then for the numbers over here, we've got 13 total items. Oh, it was 13. 13 total items sold in two weeks or less which I think is still really good. That's two items a day basically selling in less than two weeks, so I'm happy about that. Oddly enough, only three sold from having been listed a month, 11 additional ones sold within the two month time frame, and 24, months, uh, 24 items sold in two months plus. So there's that. Um, then I've been tracking how many boutique items I've sold, so I have nine boutique items that sold. Oh, a little over one per day that's fine with me it used to be about two per day so I'm hoping to get it back up to that I'm gonna start doing some extra shares of my boutique items and I think that's why sales are down before anytime I had a spare minute on Poshmark I would share just my boutique items and I feel like that extra exposure led to a lot of sales so and since I don't have that many it's easy to just quickly share them all real fast and keep them at the top of my closet and so that's what I need to keep doing to increase those sales and then if you don't know, I started tracking my Macy's liquidation law. I did a bulk purchase of Macy's liquidation of Macy's house brands in plus sizes, and those have been selling great. Um, so a little over one per day this past week. I had a bunch of them on Sunday, which is not included here. So that's why I'm kind of like all excited about this Macy's liquidation lot. So um, I got them at an amazing price, which is a lot less than what I had previously seen them at. I was able to work out an amazing deal. And so um, hopefully it's something that I can continue to sell. They're really easy to process. And I may do a video in the future about how I handled that bulk lot. So if that's something you're interested in, leave a comment below and let me know that you're interested in a Macy's liquidation processing video. And I can kind of let you know what steps I took to make that happen um, because I have really been doing well with that. Some final notes here and then I'll share the last two sales. So um, I had three sales over $35 this week. One of them you already saw which was the $55 sale on eBay for the Lily Pulitzer Luxletic um, set. So that was one of them and then I have the other two coming. Three sales over 35 in a week. I'm not too happy with that. So I wish that that was a little bit higher but to counterbalance, I did get six sales in the same day, which makes me really happy turning my money really fast um, and getting decent profit for it. So I'm okay with that. Um, so the other two sales that were over $35 to kind of round out the video is, ah, uh, come on. This Lands and Cashmere cardigan. I think I had it up for 49 or 59 I can't remember um, and she made me an offer of 35 and it was one of an overnight offer and I thought you know what you never know what the day is going to bring maybe you're going to have good sales maybe you're not why not start the day with a $35 sale and so I did accept that offer it's not in season to be wearing cashmere cardigans so to get $35 for it I thought that was fine it was from the bins and I think that that's a great a great return uh, on the money and then the final sale and the last one over $35 is one of my boutique items. It's actually a jumpsuit, um, kind of overalls, really cute ankle cropped length. Those are some stock photos. And then I took some photos, you know, just of mine. I think I have them up. I don't even remember. I'm so bad. I have them up for like 59 or 69. She gave me an offer of 40. I thought that was fine. Um, you know, I definitely want to do more boutique items. I want to get more for my boutique items, but 
I get nervous when they're just sitting on the shelf and so I haven't had as much attention on this as I'd like. I think I've sold two of these so far um, and I have them in a few sizes so I just want to be turning them for profit and I'd love to get three, four, five times my money but if I get, you know, if I double my money that's okay too. Um, and so on this, I more than doubled my money, so I was fine to take that offer. Um, and some are going to sell for a higher price, and some are going to sell for a lower price, and just kind of all shakes out. So I felt like $40 was respectable, and, you know, it's one of those items that you do the work once, and it can sell again and again. So I feel like there's always that. So that is all for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe for more Reseller Mom content like this and other topics and haul videos. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again next week for another What Sold Fast video, but check out the other videos I have throughout the week on Wednesday and Friday for some sort of haul video and then some sort of Reseller Mom topic video. Thanks so much and have a great day, mamas. Take care.